hello friends welcome back to the channel if you are facing this error preparing automatic repair on your windows 10 or windows 11 in this video i will show you a method to fix this issue completely let this process complete first and you will see this blue screen automatic repair your pc did not start correctly or you will get an error like automatic repair could not repair your pc or you will get like uh, startup repair could not repair your pc so in this video i will show you a complete solution for this blue screen error so let's start the first step you can try is simply click on this restart button so sometime this simple step this simple restart button will also fix your issue but if you are still getting the same issue let's move on to our step one click on this advanced option then click on troubleshoot then click on this advanced option so the first step you can try is click on this system restore option so this option will help you to restore your system to the back date to fix this issue so click on this option system restore now select your login username so this is my login username in my system click on it now enter your password if you are using any password otherwise leave it blank and click on continue now you will see this error so in my system i don't have any restore point that's the reason i am getting this error but if you have any restore point you will get a chance to restore your system to the back date and it will help you to fix your issue so move on to a next step next method click on cancel click on troubleshoot again then click on advanced option so the next method you can try is click on this startup repair option so this option will repair your startup files and help you to boot up your laptop or desktop click on this option diagnosing your pc so this process will take some time and it will try to repair your uh, bootable files so you have to wait for a few minutes so this method is unable to fix this issue you can see the same blue screen again startup repair startup repair could not repair your pc so now move on to our next method click on this advanced option then click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option if you recently install any game or any uh, software or any windows update and after that you are getting this blue screen error what we are going to do is we will open our system in safe mode and uninstall that application so click on this option startup settings to open your system in safe mode click on it now click on restart now you will see these nine options press f5 key or you can use fn plus f5 key to open your system in safe mode so press f5 key now your system will open in safe mode you have to wait now my pc is in safe mode and you can see safe mode is written in all the four corners and my wallpaper is totally black so that means you are in safe mode so after that click on your windows icon and now type control panel now click on this control panel app after that in the view by change it to small icons then click on this program and feature so in my system i don't have much softwares and you can also arrange these software by date wise as well to identify which one is the latest one so if you recently install any software or any game and after that you are getting this uh, blue screen error uninstall that software so what you have to do is simply right click on that software then click on uninstall to uninstall it or if you recently install any windows update manually and after that you are getting this blue screen error on the left side click on view install updates so these are the updates i have in my system and you can also arrange these updates by date wise simply click on this option installed on to arrange these updates date wise to identify which one is the latest one so after that to uninstall that update simply right click on it then click on uninstall 
after uninstalling the game or windows update simply restart your system to fix this issue and if you are still getting the same issue i will show you how to fix it move on to a next method open these option again then click on troubleshoot then click on advance option so the next method you can try is simply click on this command prompt and now click on your login username enter your login username password click on continue and you will see this black window now you have to type few commands to repair your windows corrupted files so let's start with our first command bootrack space slash fix mbr press enter now type the next command bootsec space slash nt60 space sys press enter now type the next command bootrack space slash fix boot press enter now type the next command bootrack space slash rebuild bcd press enter now type the next command sfc space slash scan now press enter and this command will take some time so the verification process completed 100% now type the next command to repair the error in your hard disk so the command will be chk dsk space slash f space c colon press enter that's it now type exit press enter and click on continue and it will reboot your system and it will fix your issue if you are still getting the same issue same blue screen i will show you the next method the final method we can try click on troubleshoot then click on this reset this pc so this is your final method you can try so with the help of this option you can reset your pc completely and it will fix your issue 100% click on it so there are two options you can use the first option is keep my files so if you select this option all your personal files in your desktop or in your other partition will remain safe so if you select the first option in that case there will be no data loss at all but if you select the second option in that case everything will be removed so go for the first one keep my files then click on local reinstall now you will get the information reset this pc so this is your final method you can try to fix your blue screen completely you can see the information that your pc will go back to the default mode all your personal data will re, uh, remain safe so there will be no data loss in this process the only drawback is that your software will remove in this process so this is the only drawback but your personal data will remain safe click on reset so this process will take around 30 minutes to complete maximum and this will reset your pc and fix your blue screen error completely so this is all for the video thank you